The god of medicine, carrying his iconic serpent, rises in the early summer sky. The constellation Ophiuchus is the serpent bearer. The serpent he carries is a constellation as well. Part of the plane of the solar system cuts through Ophiuchus. All of the big stuff of our solar system, the eight major planets and their largest moons, can be found very close to the same disk. If you shrunk it down to scale, it would fit in a pizza box. This means that the sun, the moon, and the planets take a similar path as they move across the sky. This path is known as the ecliptic. The constellations that the ecliptic passes through are often called the zodiac. Ophiuchus is not always considered part of the zodiac, especially in some older traditions. This is probably at least partly due to how our concepts of where the borders between constellations lie have changed over the millennia. However, since the ecliptic does go through the modern constellation of Ophiuchus, it is widely known as the 13th constellation of the zodiac. Ophiuchus represents Asclepius. In the classical Greek tales, Asclepius was a son of the god of healing, Apollo. He was raised by his father and by the centaur Chiron, the great teacher in the classical Greek myths. Apollo and Chiron taught him many things, including the arts of healing and medicine. Also, Asclepius was once kind to a serpent, and in return the serpent whispered in Asclepius' ear unknown secrets of healing. These secrets, combined with his own brilliance and diligence, allowed Asclepius to surpass even his father Apollo and the other gods as a healer. He would carry as a symbol a staff with a serpent coiled around it, which remains a symbol of medicine to this day. Eventually, Asclepius' craft reached its apex. He became such a powerful healer that he was able to bring the dead back to life. This angered Hades, the god of the underworld, as Hades thought that Asclepius was depriving him of people who were rightfully his. Zeus also worried that if humans were to no longer die, the difference between gods and humans would start to decay, and the natural order would be upset. So, before Asclepius could teach his craft to others, Zeus slew him with lightning. But although Zeus slew Asclepius, Zeus still respected the healer's skill. And so Zeus placed Asclepius in the sky as a constellation.